that week I put out a call. Well, actually, Jason Dunnigan, if that stinker's watching, he told my sister he would donate $500 if I would jump. Oh. And I was like, yeah, I would do that. But let's you know, raise the ante a little bit if I'm actually going to do this. So we um, set the bar at $3,000. And we only had, I think, like 36 hours maybe to raise it because they it, like to get your name or logo or whatever recognized, mm -hmm. you had to be done by Sunday night. And we did it. Nice. We raised the $3,000, so I'm going in <laughs> on sun, or Saturday, right around 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, Eagle's Nest, come down, have lunch, have a drink, bring me a warm electric blanket, <laughs> maybe some slippers. I'm really nervous, but Claire's going to do it with me now. So my 11-year-old uh, is going to do it, and we're really excited. Uh, I know you've been uh, to the event before yeah. as a spectator, and you've seen the costumes and the themes people do. Yes. Do you and Claire have a plan? I don't know because I thought I was going to be jumping with the law enforcement team and so I texted them and said, hey, what are we wearing? And they're like, oh no, do your own thing. Register yourself. So I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I should wear something GTV. Oh yeah, great idea. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Yeah. Because I do work here on Mondays. That's right. You should wear, <laughs> you should wear something GTV. <laughs> yeah, so come out and see us. I think it actually, I'm glad there's snow and it actually is I cold. If it was like 40 degrees, it wouldn't be that big of a deal that we were. It'd be more like the, I don't know, mild, mild plunge. So I have talked to people that jump that have done this, and they say the colder it is outside, the easier it is. Yeah. Because the water temperature, it's always, always above 32. Oh. So if the air temperature is like 5 and the water temperature is 32. Yeah. Oh. It's like jumping into the warm bath. Inter uh, yeah, I'll let you. That <laughs> sounds like a bunch of malarkey, but I'll let you know on okay. Monday what my thoughts are on that. All right. <laughs> are you going to come out? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh. That sounded like a no, but I'm not. I have 30,000 no. other things I'm going to uh, be doing. I'm planning. I would like to come out, but I have something that I have to be at just before that. Oh, okay. So I might be a little late. Okay. So wait till I'm, get, I'm there before you jump. I have to be done by 3. Because okay. Claire has the daddy-daughter dance that night, so we have to get home and get ready for it. So try to get there. I will push it, but if you're not there by 2.40, I'm jumping. Okay. I don't even know if I have that say. They might just tell me when I have to I go. I think they, the, they tell you when to go. Oh, okay. They, right. Yeah. I'll, well, I'll if, I, if I drop the Bart Holly, they'll give me a little <laughs> right. extra That's right. yeah. liberty. Yeah, that'll get, <laughs> they catch you the best tables. <laughs> Uh, now, it's the time of year. Is there anything happening in the real estate industry? Yes, and uh. this is the message I want to put out into the world. Like, we saw, what we've had over the last nine months is really just a reality check. Mm -hmm. So if anybody, was, they were just being completely unrealistic with their expectation, they've had a real reality check. That's it. You know, there hasn't even really been a dip, per se. We've had a correction because things were so out of whack. So if your house is worth 40% more than it was two years ago and you've lost 5% in the last nine months, so what? Your overall growth is still more than you, we've seen in history. Mm -hmm. So it is still pretty much a seller's market. Um, the difference is buyers are tired of getting raked over the coals. And they had been for, for the last two years, right? They had to go over asking, they had to pull out cash out of 401k. Write an essay. Yeah, whatever they had to do. Yeah, let them let the seller live there for 90 days, rent free and move in on <laughs> Christmas Eve. You know, I mean, just yeah. crazy, crazy things. And now the buyers are like, wait a second, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, I've been looking for two years and now the rates are double, not quite double, but they're yeah. significantly higher than they were. So I still want these houses, but you're going to have to be a little bit more reasonable with me. And most of the sellers have so much built in equity there that they're like, yeah, Let's, let's be reasonable. And I will tell anybody thinking about selling, listen to your realtor when they talk about timing and price point. We know what we're doing. You know, not, not only have we been you know, like formally trained, but if you hire somebody with experience, we've been through those trends. And there are some cycles that happen every year regardless of what other crazy thing, like COVID, guess what? <laughs> March, April, May, June were still our strongest months out of the year because they always are. Um, so things are still very, very good. We have a lot, well, several listings that will be coming on. Um, you know, we're just waiting for spring to get here. So mm -hmm. we're doing that prep work. That's a great, this is a great time to do that. If you're thinking about selling, um, call us. We will come over. I was just with a friend earlier today, giving them a little honeydew list of what to work on, like through February, maybe mm -hmm. the beginning of March, get their house on by the end of March and really enjoy that spring market. All right, so you have the five, top five tips to get your home ready for selling this spring. Yes. Number right. one, 
call the brokerage house. Like I just said, we'll come out, we will evaluate your home and we'll put together a really comprehensive strategy on what to do and we're gonna create a nice honeydew list, which is really nice because then Karen's not like, now Bart, I want you to do this. It's, she's gonna say, Jennifer said we had to do it and it's just gonna fall a little easier. Oh, yeah. Two, start sorting now. It's gonna make moving so much easier. Make a donate, keep, sell, and toss piles. Call and order a dumpster. If it's broken, if it is just something that has been lying around forever and is not gonna serve anybody, toss it. Uh, if you, you know, feel, if it's something that you really, really love, you're not sure if you can part with it or not, donate it and give it to somebody that couldn't otherwise enjoy something like that. And you know what, like everybody thinks their stuff is worth, you know, a fortune. And some people are really good at that. <laughs> Sell it, go for it. And the things you're gonna keep, let's get it organized and packed up and ready to go. Um, finish all those DIY projects. Do not list your house with half the bathroom um, uh, tiled and half of it on. Don't list your house with missing thresholds. Or um, like I love, my favorite is like when a room is half painted and never finished. Please finish those. Four, deep, deep, deep spring clean. And this is one of those bar, yes, we could do it ourselves, hire somebody to do it. Cause, and they're gonna know what your realtor wants. Like I want every window opened and all of the crevices inside the window cleaned. I want somebody to take a Q-tip through the microwave grates. I want all of the vents swept so that we have a really clean spotless product when it's time to sell. And if we do that deep clean, it's gonna make it easier for you to maintain um, throughout the listing yeah. process. And then number five is, make sure you did number one, call the brokerage house. <laughs> well, that's easy. Well, we have, uh, many people have called the brokerage house. Uh, a few moments ago, we looked at a uh, listing on Park. Yes, isn't in, that so uh, cute? On Park Drive? Park Drive. Yeah. Uh, near uh, Clavons. Yes. Right? It's uh, adorable. Yeah. Really affordable. Everything's brand new. Go, we have it open uh, Sunday, we'll say 1 to 3. Yep, yeah. That's right. All right. Now we have another property today. And I don't think I've seen this one yet. No, you haven't. So we go the gamut, right? Mm -hmm. we, we don't pigeonhole ourselves to anything, but I am a lake girl. And so this is 8400 North Shore Drive on gorgeous Clark Lake. The address says it all. You're on North Shore, the best beach on all of Clark Lake, stellar views, unbelievable, hard sandy bottom. Um, shoreline. This house was completely redone just a little bit, maybe more than 10 years ago. Look at those views. Nice. I mean, just beautiful. Kitchen is very, very smart. Lots of storage and prep space. Great views throughout the whole house. I mean, could you not just sit there all day? Why would you leave? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Um, that door that you can see over to the right, that leads to a screened-in porch. Um, you can see there's a large sprawling deck off the front of the house overlooking the lake. Um, guess what else this house has? Is that a wood fireplace? It, uh, no, it's gas. Yes, okay. Guess what this is? An elevator. It is an elevator. So the whole upstairs is a primary suite. Uh, and there are two bedrooms and a full bath on the main floor too. But this was added so that no matter what happens, you can age in place in this house and take that elevator up to the master suite if you ever had an injury or just stairs became more difficult for you. Uh, and once you're upstairs, the views of the lake are spectacular and they did it in a really smart way. So um, then there's two, there are, this includes the two lots across the street and it has a huge um, pole barn style garage that has a home office, um, a lodging, bunkhouse and then parking for three or four cars so beautiful yes well, it looks beautiful in uh drab and dreary weather i can only imagine how great it looks in the summer that's what's hard about listing this yeah. time of the year if we didn't if we if we weren't able to prep last spring and get pictures but i think this is a great indicator of how beautiful this place is because it's pretty now it's only going to get better so yep and that is listed over a million dollars but it's a million dollar view, million dollar location. Yeah. Uh, Mike McKay did all of the rehab work and added the elevator so you know it was done really well. Oh yeah, it's great. All right, so uh, this is also Meet the Staff. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer on our team at uh, Mondays on the morning show and I think we've got a, a picture. Oh yes, from the Christmas edition. I almost wore that shirt today. Thank God I didn't. That would have been so <laughs> embarrassing. Oh my gosh.
Yes, oh, I have to thank you guys. The morning show is such a huge opportunity for me. I really start and end my Mondays just smiling because of this great opportunity. And getting to know Andy better, I mean, he, well, I have two brothers, so they won't like, I was gonna say the brother I never had, but I have two <laughs> spectacular brothers, but he has become like a brother to me and I just, I cherish all of you. Well, we look forward to Mondays too because it's a great way to start our work with here at JTV. It's a breath of uh, freshness and uh, Sunshine when you walk in the door. Well, thank you, Bart. At uh, one minute before nine. <laughs> <laughs> Was that funny, Brandon? <laughs> well, I'm usually somewhat ready. You all always are, and usually you're here before that. It was just that one time. Give or take. But you've had, it's, if something could go wrong, you've had that. Everything's happened to you. I don't know why I ever committed to Mondays. <laughs> I mean, I, it, it's been a good thing because it does get my work week off to a great start. Yeah. But, you know, Mondays are just always a cluster. Even coming here today, there's an accident on Cooper just before West Washington, and it shut down. So I had to turn around, go back to Morrell. Mm -hmm. Or not Morrell, whatever. Oh, well. Well, you made it, and I'm glad you did. And we're encouraging people to... Support Jennifer at the Special Olympics Polar Plunge on Saturday afternoon at uh, Eagles, Eagle Point. Yes. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Have fun. I'll see you there. I will. I'll see you there. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. Thank you. Our uh, Meet the Staff, Jennifer and uh, Property of the Day, the Birthday Club, all of us, uh, great uh, reasons to have you here. We appreciate from the Brokerage House and the birthday club, and the morning show, Jennifer Scanlon. Thank you. Uh, we've got uh, another.